what's going on? My name is Jim Spanlov, I'm an illustrator and I'm going to talk you through my process of how I make my digital illustrations uh, mainly specialising in cover art um, and stuff for YouTube channels a lot of the lo-fi hip-hop YouTube channels I'm using Procreate um, on the iPad which is what I use for the, all of my work to be honest everything I do is pretty much digital now including my rough sketches um, so yeah this actually started out as a rough sketch for a client um, this this wasn't really meant to go anywhere uh, I sent it over it didn't get used uh, we went with a different idea in the end um, so I kept it to one side and I thought maybe one day I'd come back to it and um, and I did so yeah you see me kind of line out everything at the minute I started to this is the way I was going to do it which is kind of how I usually work is to, is to line out each section and then colour after but I've been trying a different method where I'll fill areas and block areas out I've been watching a lot of people who you know concept artists and digital painters who kind of talk about blocking out the image um, which seems to make sense to me so I've started blocking out the colours and adding these textures and shadows in and then lining after and there's a few reasons for that so I've, I felt like a lot of the lines sometimes I, I spend so long putting in these little details and I feel like a lot of them get lost um, whereas if I colour first and put the shadows and the highlights and I kind of know where the light hits then I can use the lines more effectively rather than putting them into you know sections where when the image is is finished you, know, you, don't, you don't even see them so um, yeah this is a this is a different method that I've been using but if you watch the, the videos that come you'll probably see a, a you know a difference in process I tend to chop and change a little bit um, it keeps things a little bit more interesting for me so yeah just adding some highlights and you'll see I render out the the main part of this image um, I've, you see on a lot of videos they say don't do this uh, I do I don't know, probably make, <laughs> probably make the, the the uh protest harder for myself but I, I think because i'm impatient um i like to see what the image is going to look like finished so if i see a little corner or you know this like this right hand side um it just kind of gives me an idea of what the overall image is gonna is gonna look like and yeah that kind of pushes me through that you know the the like inevitable um, part of any job or any piece of work where you where you hate it. So this just <laughs> this just gets me through that. Uh, so yeah, then um, adding in the details as I go, adding in the line work second for this one, um, and and just focusing on the color and composition first. So yeah, I went in with with a lot of texture on this one. I've I've kind of been looking at um, just adding more. The, the thing is, I, the the issue that I have with digital illustration is the the flatness. I really don't like the flat images. And if if anyone's seen my work before, you'll see the grain that I, that I usually add. Um, which will come in at the end but yeah I usually add that just to to give the image something that's not I, don't, I really don't like that screen flatness um, 
that you see with digital illustration in my work I don't I think it works for other people but I don't think it suits my work really uh, so I like to add as much texture as I can and so I've actually made these brushes myself this is this is something that I never really bothered with until recently but I, I've made some brushes with some textures um, that I can use to fill in these areas and it just gives it a better basis to work on than just the block just the block colour so I'm going to leave you for a minute with Nostalgia Reprise by Frith um, it's off the album Mind Blossom which is sick to be honest it's definitely worth a listen I'm going to put all of them details in the description so I'll be back in a minute part I was kind of just didn't really have a set plan in mind for for this like I usually do I, I had the shapes I had the shapes there uh, sketched but yeah a lot of it kind of just came through just adding bits in and seeing what worked it was, it was quite an experimental one um, but this this was you know for me this wasn't a client client's job so I felt like I could really try and um, just work in a different way where it doesn't I think this is why it's important to do your personal work alongside client work as well is that you you know there's a pressure for it to look good um, whereas when it's your own you can really play about with different things and if it doesn't work it doesn't really matter you can start over no one's paying you for it so and no one's waiting for it either so uh, yeah I think it's definitely important to to keep up your personal work. I say this but um, I don't always actually stick to that myself yeah there you go there's the textures added in you see some grain and some i used the watercolor paper um set to overlay to add that texture at the end and here is the final i think i changed the colors slightly and just played about with it and you can see the blossom as well um where i added some of the lines in and this is with some movement uh, I like the I like the lanterns and the blossom tree moving don't really like the steam and the moon now but I think if uh, I think if I was going to use that for anything I'd probably change that I'd probably get rid um, but yeah there you go three four hours work condensed to ten minutes <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it if you could click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time